Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Sunday, the 21st day of April 2024. Open your mouth this morning as you begin to say amen to today's prayers and prophetic declarations. Today, I want to pray for progress in your life, progress in your family, progress in your career. Yesterday, we prayed for peace. And that is the basic, that is the foundation for progress. There can be no progress in any man's life if there is no peace. No progress can take place in a nation or society or community if there is no peace. So yesterday, we have prayed and laid a foundation for peace. And I'm very sure that God has given everyone peace. So today, I am praying for progress in your life and in your family. The Lord will make the Lord will give you the, your desired progress in your on your job, the job you are doing. There is somebody hearing me this morning. You have been so stagnated for fed, for for a very long time. You have never been promoted. Others have been promoted. Even the last promotion you had, no, you were not paid. The, what you are getting is not commensurate with the promotion. I am praying for you this morning. The Lord will break the yoke of lack of progress in your life. Your family is not making progress. Your spiritual life, instead of you to go forward, you are retrogressing. By the authority and the power of the living God, I break that yoke in your life today. In the name of Jesus, the powers that says you will not make progress, I declare them dead. In the name of Jesus, whether it is power from your father's house or from your mother's house or from the in-laws' house or the power of the city where you are that have rendered you incapacitated without progress in any area. Today, I declare them null and void in Jesus' name. Everyone hearing me this Sunday, 21st day of, of April, I decree that you will make progress physically, spiritually, financially, materially, in all aspects of life. You will enjoy and experience what is called progress in Jesus' name. I am praying for somebody today. Today is Sunday, the first day of the week. Whichever direction you are going to be facing, the Lord will go before you. The Lord will preserve you. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will command his blessings and glory to rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus, no weapon of the enemy shall prosper against you and your loved ones today. Whichever direction you are going to be facing all through this week, the presence of the Lord will go ahead of you and God will give you your desires. In Jesus' name, everyone that will be traveling this week, I decree Johnny Mercy's pregnant women that are going to be entering favor room to have their babies this week, I decree and I declare all will end in praise. In Jesus' name, you are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Today, in our Bible reading, we are reading the book of Psalm 138, 139, and 140. Three chapters. 138, 139, and chapter 140 of the book of Psalms. Please read. God will bless you. Let me take one testimony this Sunday morning. Just one testimony, and it goes thus. I thank God for the successful burial of my late mother and junior brother on the 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th of January, how God provided financial helpers for the barriers. Secondly, on our way traveling home for the barrier, how God delivered us from the hands of a notorious armed robbery gang and kidnappers. We were a few meters away from them. When I turned back with, with my whole family, this, was hap this happened around 1.30 a.m. because of the breakdown of our vehicle that delayed us till the deadly hour. It was when I got back to a junction and met some policemen who said we were very lucky that once, that once those guys collect their, once they get their victims, they collect their ATM card and use POS to withdraw all the money in the victim's account apart from the transfer the victims must have done, while some have been taken hostage for ransom. We are still there when army and police patrol team went after them. Few days it was on social media how the joint the joint task force apprehended them. I also want to thank God how he used you to answer our prayers. 
because I sent the invitation to you asking you to pray concerning the successful barrier. You replied, it is done. We give all the glory and adoration to God Almighty. Thank God for safety. We bless the name of the Lord. This morning, and probably for a few days in this week, I'm going to be sharing the word that has to do about heaven. And I want to title it, Don't Miss Heaven. Don't Miss Heaven. It may sound like an advice or a command. Whichever way you see it or whichever way you receive it, my word for you today, beloved, is that do all you can not to miss heaven. No matter what you lose in this world, if your relationship with God is still intact, you have not lost anything. But if you gain everything in this world, if there is no salvation, if you don't have Jesus, you are a most miserable person. Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Jesus say, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. The kingdom of God is the first thing you should seek after in your life. The moment you come of age and you know your left hand from your, le from your left and your right from your left, and you have come to understanding as a human being, seek first the kingdom of God, which is called the, king, the salvation of your soul. I am appealing to somebody hearing me this Sunday morning, do all within your power. It is your power to choose whether to go to heaven or to spend eternity in hell. As for me, Joshua said in Joshua chapter 24, verse 15, he said, but well, as for me and my house, we have chosen to serve the Lord. And that is the same thing with me, Pastor Eniola. As for me and my house, we have chosen, we have made up our mind to spend the rest of our life to serve and to please God. Please don't miss heaven. Heaven is not a place for anyone to miss. You may miss your flight going to Paris. You may miss your flight going to Washington, D.C. You may miss your flight going to Heathrow Airport in, in UK. But if you miss the flight going to heaven, there will be no there, there's no rescheduling. There can be no rescheduling of the flight. If you miss the flight going to heaven, then that means you are not going to spend eternity in hell. I mean in heaven. Anybody who misses heaven, then we spend eternity in hellfire. But I want to say to you this morning, child of God, hellfire is not for you. Just as hellfire is not for me. Hellfire is for the devil and all the people that are serving him and all the people that are following him. In this world, there will be people who will receive God's offer of salvation. In this world, there will be men and women who will say to preachers like Pastor Eniola and say, well, you are just saying your own. Nothing concerns me about what you are saying. But I want, to appeal, I want to appeal to you. I want to bring you out from that company. I want to bring you out from that crowd. And I want to say to you, hell is not meant for you. God did not make hell because of you. Hell is made for the devil, not for you. You are a child of God. You are a, God created you. He made you fearfully and wonderfully. So he wants you to spend eternity in heaven, not in hellfire. So don't miss heaven for anything. Don't miss heaven for anything. I repeat, don't miss heaven for anything. It is good to look for money. It is, look, it is good to look for power. It is good to look for position. But Jesus said, what shall, he, what shall we profit a man if he can gain the whole world and he then loses his own soul? Let me even put it to you. The richest men in the world today, they can't even gain the whole world. That is why they are still looking for more money every day. It is not possible for one person to gain the entire city, not to talk of gaining the whole world. So Jesus said, what will he profit a man if he can gain everything then he lose heaven i don't want you to lose heaven that is why i'm telling you this morning please come to jesus come and surrender your life to him come and hand over your life to him all that you are all that you are running after they will start running after you later all that you are pursuing today we later pursue you if you settle the this, this issue of your salvation. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing shall become additional. 
Verse 34, he said, Take therefore no thought for your tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for it, what he thinks of his self. Say, look, don't think of tomorrow. Don't think, oh, how am I going to? He said, leave that one, let, leave tomorrow for tomorrow, but set to your account today. Don't miss heaven. Heaven is not a place for any man to miss. Heaven is not a place for any man to joke with. Don't miss heaven. I repeat, if you miss your flight, you can, they can reschedule it for you. You can look for money for another flight. But if you miss heaven, then that will be that will be the end. I pray you will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. Read your Bible today, the book of Psalm, chapters 138, 139, and 140. And also read our devotional this Sunday morning, 21st day of April. The devotional, the heavenly meal there is, He has done me well. God has done me well, and he will continue to do you well. Till we meet tomorrow again, God bless you. Remain lifted. Happy Sunday, and God bless your week ahead. In Jesus' name, amen.